Steve here coming at you with Banner Knowledge Bowling's next Pro Tip Tuesday. But I have that request. Please consider subscribing and get a friend to subscribe. That way we can grow the channel and spread the knowledge. You know, I get some great comments and one comment I got from Jeff was to talk about targeting and I thought, man, that is a great topic and there's an awful lot to unpack when we talk about targeting. So I'm gonna do this in a couple of parts. Today I wanna to talk about how I line up or how I see the lane. Now everybody targets differently and we talked about proprioception before. Everyone sees the lanes differently. We kind of see it and feel it differently. I see everything in straight lines and that's how I target. Whether I'm shooting pull, whether I'm golfing or whether I'm bowling, I see the straight line. So in bowling, I wanna go down that straight line until it finds the friction and then that's when the ball will start to hook back towards the pocket. Now I can see that shape, but when I line up, I wanna to get to that in a straight line. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing that I do is I look down at the pins and I find the area at the pins in that straight line that I want my ball to go towards. So let's give an example, right-handed, say I'm playing the 12th board at the arrows and I have a fair amount of launch angle or I'm going to get it from 12 maybe down the lane uh, to board four or five to get that ball to hook back to the pocket. What I'll do is I'll start looking at the, the 10 pin and I'm probably going to look at to the maybe the middle of that 10 pin, maybe the left edge of the 10 pin and I'm going to draw that line straight back through what I think is the exit point and the exit point is really where the ball is going to leave the pattern and start the shape towards the pocket. Now some lanes have indicator boards down there which really help me in seeing that exit point. Other lanes you might have a dark spot or you might have something that you can see. Other times you just have to see it in your mind's eye. But I draw that line from the pin through the exit point where I perceive it's leaving the pattern. So 35 foot pattern is going to look differently to me than maybe a 45 foot pattern. Then I continue that straight line through what I'm looking at. Now I typically look at the arrows, but sometimes I'm in front of the arrows and sometimes I'm a little further down the lane. However, I draw that straight line through what I'm actually looking at or my visual and I continue that straight line all the way up to the middle of my shoulder. And I feel like there's an eyeball right here in the middle of my shoulder and I set everything down that straight line from the eyeball of my shoulder, the forearm, my hand, looking through what I'm visually looking at, at the target, typically the arrows, that continues that straight line through the exit point of the pattern, and I continue it straight through to where I'm looking at the pins. And the way that I do it, when I'm up on the approach, I start at the pin, I start at the 10 pin in this example, and I draw it through the exit point, through my visual and I kind of see the line going right up into the eyeball that's right here in, in the right here in the middle of my bowling shoulder and that's how I first start to look at the target and how I get the line correct for when I'm going to play now let me say this if I need to make a move and I make a parallel move left everything shifts shifts to the left then so if I'm looking at the left side of the 10 pin I may move over to somewhere in between or maybe the right side of the six pin and the target may go from 12 to let's say maybe 14, maybe 15 and, my, and uh, the exit point will also shift accordingly wherever I draw that line. So that would be a parallel move in. Now I can also continue looking at the same point on the 10 pin, drawing it through the exit line, but if I, if I move my visual target, let's say over to 15, you can see where I've increased the launch angle. So I can use this visual cue to make sure that I'm lining up correctly to execute the type of shot that I need to execute. Hope this made sense. You have questions, put them down below. And in the next couple of, of episodes, I will go into a little bit more about how I target how I see the lanes, and how I make adjustments. Thanks a lot.